even though the cookouts are fine and, and all that stuff is fine, pools open up for Memorial Day as an official kickoff to summer. People say this is the kickoff to the summer vacation. And you know, it usually closes with <coughs> Labor Day, yes. you know. And then you even have folk who will take this day and honor veterans, thanking people for their service. But it's not about veterans. Oh, y'all, y'all might be quiet now. Yeah. It, it's not about taking the time out and tell folk, thank you for the service. Yeah. They still living. That's what, that's what November 11th is for. Yeah. And that's what 365 days of the year is for, is we ought to tell them thank you for their service. But Memorial Day is about remembering. 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 And, and, and the Lord here says to Moses, and Moses says to the people, but it was because God was the, brought, the one that brought them out of the bondage of Egypt. It, it, it was God who led them by a pillar of fire at night and a cloud by day. It was God who led them under the cloud through the sea under Moses' leadership as they followed Jesus, the rock. The rock. That's right. Now, they get here and Moses tell them, the Lord God tell Moses, tell the people, listen y'all, remember this day. Remember the day that you came out of bondage. And, 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 and in the scripture, Egypt is a type of world, and bondage is a type of uh, sin, and, 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 and there's so many of us ought to remember when the Lord saved us. Amen. So many of us ought to remember when the Lord delivered us out of the bondage of sin, when the Lord gave us new life in Christ Jesus. Y'all agree? Amen. And I tell people all the time, you know, people, people will, re they'll remember their physical birthday, but they don't remember their spiritual birthday. Amen. You know, your spiritual birthday is just as important as your physical birthday, more so. Amen. Because you've been born again, you know that when this life is over, you're going to go spend eternity with God through Christ Jesus. Are y'all with me? Amen. But there are so many people don't remember <laughs> There's so many people now, y'all say, I, I said it before and I said it, and I said it again because it, it's easy to forget if you're not trying to remember. That's right. It's easy to forget the folk that has gone on if we don't take the time every year and remember them. What, what, we, what we remember in our last cookout last year, what we do last year, what, can we get the party better than it was last year? But that, that's, not, that's not Memorial Day. That's not what it's about. Again, I tell y'all, cooking out a sign, it, it's all fun. <clears throat> but it's not what it's about. It's not about the official kickoff to the summer, the vacation. That's not what it's about. And we want, we're going to have a problem with forgetting to remember those folk if we keep on not trying to remember. We, we are. We, we, you notice that people don't even really, really take the, I'm not saying all people, some people don't really even take the, acknowledge the people who help us to get to where we are today. Amen. In this country, in these churches, you know, the communities, there are people who went before us that made it possible for us to have what we have today. Amen. Amen. So brothers and sisters, even in the life of, 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 even in the life of the children of Israel, they kept running on, forgetting, they kept running on, finding themselves under the bondage. They kept running on, why? Because they had a lack of faith. And that lack of faith kept on bringing them, bringing them, bringing them further from remembering what God had done for them. And y'all know for yourself, you look around you, everywhere you look, you don't see people 
like they were. So what we ought to remember today, every, every time a Marian day come around, you know what we ought to remember? We ought to remember the faithful. We ought to remember the faithful. The people who, who, who were faithful in what God called them to be and do to make a difference in the lives of somebody else. Remember the faith. The scripture says in Hebrew chapter 11, talking about the, the, the hall of faith, the wall of remembrance, the hall of remembrance in Hebrew chapter, the scripture says every one of them that it was by faith, it was through faith, they died in the faith. And we ought to remember the faithful. Every Memorial Day, if not any other time during the year, we ought to take the time and remember, take the time and reflect on the faithful who are faithful to what God has called them to do to make a way for us to enjoy what we have today. Amen. Hmm. They were faithful to the task. They were faithful every day to do what they do. Listen, whether it was in, in the workplace, whether it was in the military, whether it was in churches, I'm going to tell y'all, we had some faithful folk in our churches down through the years to help the church to continue to be where it is yeah. today. Amen. When we look at that wall of remembrance out there, when we look at putting people's names on it, we ought to remember the sacrifices they made to help us to be continue to call Crow Baptist Church. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and people today with a lack of faith they don't have the they don't have the wherewithal to want to remember the faithful folk, the faithful folk that who who even in the midst of back in slavery, in the midst of Jim Crow law, in the midst of persecution, they still would not let them quit honoring their God through their faith. Amen. They help the church to be the church. There are folk who sacrificed everything because they were faithful to the cause of duty in military and then we remember them, we remember them for their faithfulness. Hmm. You and I won't faithful to go. All right. Some of us, well some of you did. Some of you even went in the war and you were faithful to do it. Yeah, it won't, it won't be an easy time but you were faithful to do it because you were making a way for me and everybody else that Amen. were coming behind you. But we we don't we don't we don't take the time to remember those faithful ones who served our country, faithful ones who served in our churches, the faithful ones who served in our communities. We don't. And you know why? Because we got a lack of faith. And when 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 we gone off the scene, somebody gonna wanna know what did we do that was worth them remembering us. Hmm. Oh, y'all quiet now. <laughs> what contribution did you make and I made to society that is worth being remembered? Amen. 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 Oh, Lord Jesus. Hmm. Hmm. We ought to remember the faithful. We ought to remember the faithful. But not only must we or should we remember the faithful brothers and sisters. We must remember the fighters. Amen. The fighters. Now I know you can remember some of the hell racers. <laughs> <laughs> they dead and gone. Now I remember that. Ooh, that was a bad, that was a rough dude right there. <laughs> but we need to remember those who were faithful, but yet those who will fight for the cause of freedom. They took up arms and they fight the good fight. So you and I can enjoy cookouts, pool parties. Mm. Y'all think about it. See, if you don't think that Memorial Day is about celebrating the faithful and those who fought for this freedom, yes. then you enjoy it. I am enjoying it. Whether they were civil rights leaders, whether they were military, whether law enforcement, people who in, in, in EMS service, people who 
lay down their life and, and fight for somebody else's well-being. All right. Do you remember them? Mm. Ask yourself, man, even though I'm talking to you, anybody cross your mind? Who you can say that I remember their faithfulness? Who you can say, I remember their fight. They had a fight. They had a fight when I didn't have a fight. I, they had a big dog fight. That fight more vicious than that dog that sister Clack got. That <laughs> Brooke Clack got out there. And dog, so that dog bites you. <laughs> but these people had fight. And they fought the good fight. That's right. Amen. And we need to remember that. Remember the people who, who were treated injustice, but somebody fought for them. And they paved the way for us to have. Hmm? Brothers and sisters, when we remember the faithful and we remember the fight, we can't help but remember the fallen. You can't help but remember the fallen. Because they failed while they were fighting the fight of faithfulness. And they fought that fault so you can be free. I can be free. But then we don't remember them. We don't remember them. And I'm not trying to rain on anybody cook out tomorrow. <laughs> but God knows we ought to take the time and stop running around here thanking these living soldiers who have served faithfully. Thank you for your service. Thank you. They did. A memorial is for those who fought faithfully and fallen. Amen. Amen. They may not fail in the line of duty, but somewhere down the line they, they passed on and we still remember their sacrifice that they did for this country. We remember the sacrifice that they did for this church. We remember the sacrifice that they did for this community. We remember their sacrifice. So brothers and sisters, we need to remember that this is a great day. Yes. Amen. This is a great weekend. Amen. This is a great opportunity Amen. for us to remember. This is a great day to remember the faithful, the fighting, the fallen, and it's a great day to remember the Father. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. God placed these people before us that help within our freedom today. And I'm going to tell you something. One thing will help, will help us to remember if you had some points or references. If God has done anything, if the Father has done anything in your life, that you had a praying mother or grandmother, yeah. a praying father yeah. or grandfather. Y'all yeah. hear me? Yeah. And you saw how faithfully every day they got up. They went to slot hall. They went to the field. They went to whatever. If you got a you got a, a, a fallen loved one that's in your life and, 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 and you know they went out to the Vietnam War, you know they went out to some other foreign wars and fought for it in foreign countries, so you can lay your head down. I can lay my head down. We can sleep at night and be you ought to remember that sacrifice. They were faithful. You ought to remember. The fight that is. I'm going to tell you something, young folk. You ought to remember how, how you may not remember it now, but when your mama, your daddy, your grandma, your granddaddy gone on, you remember that when you were in school, they fought for you. Yeah, that's right. When they ended the 
tried to get you, they fought for you. Can I get a witness? So now when they fall, you ought to remember what mama said. You ought to remember what daddy said. I wish I had a witness in here. And God will give you some points. When you look back on your life and you see what God brought you from, you see what God brought you through, you don't have to look very far, far. Just look at the news now and you can tell where God has brought you from and you can tell what God has brought you through. But if you ain't careful, I stop by and tell you, you look at the news. Yes. You can see that you're going to repeat what you did. What well, would repeat the way that I did? Because we don't remember. That's right. We don't remember where we were. See, if you don't remember where you were, and get some points of reference and know how God has made a way for you, how God has brought, yeah. through, brought you through, how God made some fit because of your loved ones, God, your parents, God, the ones who were faithful, the ones who were fighting, the ones, even though now they're falling. But you look back and say, I never would have made it without God put a praying on them.
What if you are the one that God placed in this place to make a difference for the future? So you remember the faith. You remember the fighters. You remember the fallen. As you remember the Father put them in your life. But you better remember them. They were there for the future. God wants us to remember. Make ways for the future. Because if you don't do what is necessary now, That's right. there will be nothing to remember in the future. Amen. Look at this government. Look at it. Everything that people have faith and fault and fail for, it's just been swept under the rug. They, more, they care more about parties now. They care more about celebrating barbecues and all that than to honor those that laid down their life. There's nobody greater to lay down their life than Jesus Christ. Amen. We don't even remember him. We don't remember him. You know when you remember Jesus? <laughs> when you lay on your bed of affliction? When you can't run as fast as you used to? You can't party like you used to. Oh, you remember Jesus then. But Solomon said you need to remember the Lord in the days of your youth. Amen. <laughs> so all I'm just saying, I ain't, I ain't come to make y'all mad. I ain't come to, I don't want y'all calling by and cancel y'all cookout tomorrow. No, I don't. <laughs> but I want you to do this. Before you sit down and take a bite of your meal, Please, we all have to take the time and bow our hearts and our heads in remembrance of those men and women. Amen. Whether it was in the military, whether it was in the church, whether it was somewhere in your life to help you to be where you are today. But I'm going to tell you something. That was a great sacrifice for this country. And all that this country went through to line up with God's nation, Israel. And God said, those that would bless Israel, he would bless. Those that would curse Israel, he would curse. God said that. that that's his word. That we don't go against God. The value that God placed in his book concerning this Dear sweet land we call America. You remember the people that gave their lives for us to have America. Amen. And y'all know y'all remember Columbus who sailed. No, you remember the Indians that they took it from. Amen. Don't just remember, because remember those Indians that, that they, remember the slaves that came over in the belly of ships. Remember those folks. You want a memorial? Yeah, let's not just start. Just let's not start and stop at the people that were served in the armed forces. No, no, no. Their contribution was great, but I'm gonna tell you something. You remember those those folk in the slave ships? Remember. So you can lay down at night and close your eyes, get up and eat what you want to eat. Mm. Go where you want to go. Right. Remember those fucking law enforcement. Yes. That laid down their lives. Those that, those that. <clears throat> well, you and I, we went in the strap on the vest, nor the boots, nor the gun. To go out there and do what they do. But they did it. Bravely. Yeah. And they're still doing it. And some, some mother, some father. Some husband, some wife, some child have to get that report that their loved one has fallen. And they remember it for a while. The community come around you and rally and talk about he or she going, he was such a special person. But the next memorial, then they go right back to their 
The family is still going through, but their friends are going That's the same way. All these people that they that like all they ask for us to do, and the families are even falling. That would somebody please remember my loved ones? Would somebody please remember the sacrifice they did for us? How many of you have loved ones that fallen soldiers? Whether it was military. Nobody here have a fallen military family? Dig around, you and I don't know too. They got they had loved ones that, <laughs> that served in the military and failed. All of us. So all of us somewhere are connected with family members and friends who made the ultimate sacrifice of their life. Since only two of you raised, or two of us pretty much raised our three of us, four and eighty five raised our hand. How many of you really, how many of you know somebody named Jesus who fallen for us? Y'all raise your hand for that? I'm so glad that Jesus was faithful to the call. He said, when blood the, of bulls and goats gave his father no pleasure, God prepared himself a body. And he came down through 42 generations, born of a virgin, tabernacle among men. Faithfully, faithfully, for every step of the way against the enemy. Faithfully. The devil was trying to get him sidetracked. But faithfully, he kept fighting. 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 To get the Calvary's cross. And when he got the Calvary's cross, they stretched him wide. They hung him high. Nailed him in his hand. Nailed him in his feet. Yes. Pierced him in his side. After an all night beating and scorning. And he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they're doing. But when he said it was finished, he hung his head in the locks of his arm and gave up the ghost. And the Bible declares at the dawning of the first day of the week when the ladies came to the tomb the stone was rolled away and Jesus was risen. And the angel said I know who you're looking for but why are you looking for the living among the dead? He's not here. And you go and tell the disciples that he's risen. And from that point on, the future's never been the same. Amen. Now you have a future. I have a future. Yes. But you gotta remember, today is a great day to remember. Amen. Today is a great day to remember. Adam, all the way to yourself today. Amen. Remember. Think about it. If somebody had to put up with that racism, the dogs sick, sick on the people. Water hole, baton beatings, ropes around the neck of people. Get ready to fight your little state tomorrow. 
put that ketchup and mustard on that hamburger. Take a moment and pause. Amen. And say, y'all, this was a great day to remember. Amen. And whenever y'all folks look at you and they don't know what you want to remember, tell them, so listen, we're going to remember the faithful. Then you tell them about the faithful. Remember the fight. You tell them about the fight. Remember the fall. You tell them about the fallen. Amen. Remember the father. You tell them about the father. And I promise you, if you do that, you are helping to have something for the future. Amen. Father, we, we stop for this moment just to say thank you, Lord. You told Moses to tell the people to remember this day, God. Now you're telling us through me that we got a great day to remember. While the blood is still running warm in our bodies, we need to remember those who fought a good fight, carried the banner, they laid down their weapons, and they to fight no more. Tell them about the ultimate sacrifice so we can enjoy. So Lord, don't let us forget. Don't let us operate in a lack of faith. Don't let us move with a lack of fellowship. But God, Help us to remember. When that thief hung on that old rugged cross beside Jesus. Jesus on that center cross. He said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come in your kingdom. So Lord, help us not to be forgetters. Help us to remember. It's okay to have fun and fellowship with family, friends, and food. But God, help us not to forget the real meaning of Memorial Day. How can we celebrate without saying thank you for all that they did? All what Lord and Savior Jesus Christ did on our behalf. So Lord, this Memorial Day, we thank you for the lives of the men and men and women who gave up their life so that someone else could live life. We thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' name. Amen.